told you what to chase told you how to run the run. all right so we have all of our basically ingredients here our molds stuff like that so basically let me tell you everything that i use to make mine go smoothly uh the main one of the main things well let's start from stop start, start the bottom start the bottom first of all you're gonna need your strawberries okay i get these from Publix. you can get them from Kroger, walmart anywhere you feel fit right now I chose to get them from Publix because um, they was looking pretty big, as you can see. I always look at them, try to make sure I get something that's big and pretty. Look up under the bottom. Sometimes you can see if it's molded under the bottom, squished under the bottom, whatever it is. But this is about the best I can get out of these, y'all. Mind you, we will be the one that's going to eat these. So no worries about me not having on gloves. I'm doing this only for purposes to show you all how i'm making them okay so i have these bowls i got these from amazon i use them to um color my icing um if i'm not coloring my icing um doing what i'm doing washing my berries off stuff like that and i have they came in like four set the biggest one i use that for like when mother's day come i'll be using that to um wash a big amount of berries off but for this purposes i'm gonna go ahead use this bowl wash these berries off I'm going to put my 12 berries in here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This one is smushed in. Couldn't really tell. Not going to use it. Um, this one is molded. It was in the middle, so I couldn't even use it. Okay. Um, so let me open up another package and get some more. Hello. Hey, how can I help you? Yes, this is me. Okay, good. Um, so he's on the way to get the, to tow the car. You know how far out he is? Oh, okay. Okay, thanks. Sorry about that, y'all. Y'all know I was having problems with my truck. I got to get it towed to the tie shop. Anyway, um, this is the veggie wash I use. So even though I checked this package or whatever, inside of there... Um, had some older ones. Nothing I could do about that. I use my veggie wash, spray my berries, and then I go rinse it off with cold water, okay? Um, next thing you gotta have, I'm gonna go put this in water, rinse it off, and that's it. You'll see that water is so brown and nasty once you do that, y'all. So imagine just picking up a berry and eating them. Them berries actually be dirty. Um, this, uh, some paper towels I'm gonna use to dry off my berries. I have some toothpicks I'm gonna need to screw my berries to dick it into chocolate. I have my cups that I'm gonna use to pour my chocolate in, and which I love to use Ghirardelli chocolate. chocolate. Um, it comes in white, it comes in dark. I take my dark and my white mix together to make my chocolate. For um, pink, I'm using the pink candy milks and also the strawberry flavor candy milks from Wilton. I got these from Walmart. But even when I'm using these, I still take some of this, like a handful, put it inside of there. So it'll still have that creamy texture and uh, a, a taste of Ghirardelli, you know. So that's what I do. All right, so next thing I'm going to need are some letter molds. These are some letter molds. You're going to take the chocolate, squeeze it in here to get your letters out. And um, I'll leave the link in the description for this exact mold. I do multiple ones because, like I'm saying, happy. Um, PP is two letters. So that means I would have to wait on this one to get ready if I only do one. So I try to get multiple ones so I can do excess of letters as I go. 
Um, other than that, I have my little cup holders that I'm gonna, my little mini pink, these are mini cupcake holders that I'm gonna use to put my um strawberries in. Um, I have my box, I got this from Uline. Got this box from Uline, it's a bigger one, and then no, this is actually the smaller one. And I also have the big one for my breakable hard boxes. Okay, I got both of these for Uline. I include the links in the description as well. So Uline is a little bit pricey. So besides that, what I have are some boxes I got from Amazon. These are just like the same. They have the whittle at the top. The only thing is you have to fold them and put them together. I leave this link in the description as well. Once you fold them, put them together like this. I normally use a um, a glue dot to stick in between these two so it can clamp together. That's what I use. Or you can put a piece of tape on it or whatever. And then I use some thank you stickers. I got some thank you stickers from Timu. I you leave the Timu link in the description. Just put some thank you stickers in there. And um, they was like 58 cent, 98 cent. Way cheaper than getting them from Amazon. But this is a clear box option that'll come fairly quick. And you line really come quick as well. I just think that... Um, this is least expensive okay so i have these and this size i include both sizes this is my breakable hard size and i have a smaller size for like six berries or something like that um other than that i have different types of sparkle and sprinkles that you can use to coat the berries i have some sugar art which is brilliant sparkle brilliant um sparkle and baby girl that you can use to like coat your um Squawberries to make them shinier. I have a bag full of Amazon ones. You know, they have the edible red glitter. Different little edible glitters that you can use. I use these on those heart-shaped cakes to um, give it that glittery look. I can include the description, um, include some in the description as well. But for this purposes, I'm not going to use the silver. I'm going to use the pink and the this to give it a little shine this is my favorite y'all the rainbow disco diamond dust okay i have a hairnet on use a hairnet i'll leave that in the description and other than that y'all that is quite it what you need to get started i'm upset about my berries though i didn't even see that one in the middle down there i'm gonna have to throw that away i have another little mold here which i just washed this out should not be no chocolate still in the inside of here but it is i use a um I need to get some and dry it out because it still has some dark chocolate from when I just used it. I have my I love you mold, but I need the hearts out of here. Um, and I have this chocolate mold. If you all be seeing the little um, candy looking things on cakes or different little things, this is all it is and some chocolate poured into it. That's it. Um, other than that, y'all just went over everything I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and wash this off with some water. Go ahead and open up my chocolate pour it in oh it smells good too it smells really good y'all this strawberry smells good i honestly don't even need to use the um other pink one because um it kind of leaves a flavor to it that i don't like this one the hot pink one um that one is okay but the hot pink one does and like i said i always use this on top or any of my chocolates I use to give it that creamy feeling. Because when you're dealing with them Walmart color ones, um, they tend to be, they ain't it to me. You know? One second, y'all. Had a... All right, y'all. Sorry about that. Um, let me go ahead and start melting this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put this on 30 seconds and come back and show you how it is. You have to do it in intervals of 30 and then 15 at a time. I'll come back and show you. All right, so as you can see, this is the chocolate at the 37. Really not melted, but you still want to take, and I use a butter knife, y'all. You still want to take and mix it up a little bit because let me tell you what happens. The more that chocolate sits and get heated up in one side, spot it can burn that's how your chocolate get burns because it gets so hot and it gets heated in one spot especially like towards the bottom 
um, just imagine it was melted right here in this spot and you took it out then stir it up put it right back in then that's when you mess up and your chocolate ends up melting throughout this video I'm gonna try to give you some tips and which I forgot to tell you about this I have a cutting board that I use to I take my cutting board stick this on top of it and I use this to move around my strawberries um, that is a parchment paper that you're gonna need so your strawberries don't stick to anything okay um, move this stuff around so I can get ready to get started but yeah now I'm gonna stick it back in there for 15 more seconds and just 15 seconds at a time when I take it out at 15 seconds it might not look like it's melted I'll do the same exact thing over again until I get it to the right way so this is about the fourth time that I've warmed this up still not all the way melted every time it comes out you just stir it up make sure you get to the bottom so that you're stirring up any of that chocolate that's overheated down there and the heat from it um the more you stir it up the more they melt down stick this in the microwave again but i do want to show you also i'm about to do some strawberry crunch berries these are the trays that i use for my strawberry crunch berries i put the link in the description as well um get the chocolate off my hand which i need to use a napkin okay next thing i do i'm gonna go put that back in the microwave but for now, I'm going to go ahead and dry my berries out. And I'm just damping it a little. It don't take rocket science. Just dry them off. Okay. Damp them. Don't squeeze them too tight. If you squeeze them and they mushy, that means that they're not some good strawberries. I like mine to be hard, but hey, a little mush will do it. You want to make sure you take, take off any dark or um, gold leaves. You know, sometimes they have little brownish leaves up there. You just rip those off. You don't want to give anybody the impression your berries are old. Okay? So, before I can dip these, I actually need to um, have my letters ready. Because as I do it, unlike some people, the way I do mine is a tad different. My opinion um, is quicker for me. Not saying it's not the wrong or right way to do it, but hey, there go one of those little. Okay, pull that off of them. Don't let them be in your berries. The next thing you would do, take your two picks and stick into your berries. Which I just take and stick it in the thickest part of the stem. I stick it in here, not nowhere around, but definitely straight throughout the stem if yours is kind of mushy you don't have a good stem to it then you're gonna have to take and um use two toothpicks stick two toothpicks in there and that'll help it be sturdy versus you stick it in your chocolate and it will fall off in your chocolate honey we do not want that to happen we ain't got time for that i hate when that happens i really do there go another one make sure you're pulling these off of your strawberries keeping them clean but that fruit spray definitely does Give it a clean feeling. I didn't show y'all, but that water was brown, honey. Anytime you wash them berries off, they do be brown. Okay. Um, three more berries. So I'm going to do my strawberry crunch first. And, of course, you heard me on the phone. I did get a call. I do have to get ready to go out of here because a tow truck is here to take my car, my, to my truck to the car uh, take my truck to the tire shop y'all because I had somebody here come change the tire um, He couldn't get the boats off the boats are scripts apparently So now I had to get a tow truck to come into it honey a lot going on But next thing I'm gonna do after I get through these strawberry crunch I'm gonna go ahead and take my piping bag which I already have one and um, what I do is I Use a piping bag link will be in the description Pull my chocolate and then I get my molds in which I already I'm using white chocolate. My berries are gonna be pink and my chocolate letters are gonna be white. So I actually can go ahead, pour it in my piping bag, as you saw. Squeeze it down, get some air out of it, and go ahead and fill my letters up. These are gonna say best mom ever. 
So what I would do is, just inside of it, squeeze it out. Whoa. And I'm going to tap this. I tapped it because it squeezed out a little bit too much. But there's nothing to it, y'all. Any little extra excess, you can get that off once it melts down. I hope y'all can see this pretty good. I should have put it as an overhead, my um little overhead camera thing for y'all. This hole is fairly bigger than it normally is. Like if I'm doing drills, I have a very smaller hole. If I'm doing piping, not piping, but um letters. As you can see, my hole is a little bit bigger. And this is what I'm talking about I ha about having multiple um, little things. Right now, I'm doing best mom, M-O-M. -M. I can do the M and the O, but had I not had another one, I can't do the other M. Let me go ahead and do this. I'll do the other M. Best mom. I need another E, V. I can do the R, but I need two more E's and an M. So that works out for me having three sets. Okay. I'm going to go stick this in the freezer. Once I get through doing my other M, E, and other E. Because once I come out with my chocolate, y'all. Once I come out with my chocolate um, letters, I stick it straight to my berries while they're cold. Some people wait till they dry, then try to glue them on. I don't do that. I stick it on straight as I do it. So let me put these in the fridge, freezer and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So while that's in the freezer, I got my letters in the freezer, freezing up. For now, I'm going to go ahead and do my strawberry crunch. I'm sticking two in, dipping it in my chocolate, y'all. Once you dip it in your chocolate, shake it. Shake it out best as you can. Okay? Okay. Now, what I do is, I kind of hit the back a little bit, and then I slide it on my parchment paper. Let me move this out of the way. Okay? Oh, I'm not doing that, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm doing this. But we'll get to that once we get to the other ones. So, this one is strawberry crunch. I just take it, I dip it in my strawberry crunch, and I slide mine straight off the toothpick. Now, it's not easy for everybody to do that. Like my daughter, she can't do it that way. She has to um, take the toothpick out once it's finished. Get that piece of leaf out that just fell in. Yeah, well, my daughter, she can't actually do it that way. But me, take and shake it, y'all. Shake it as much as you can. Get all the drizzle off. If you want to drain the excess, if you want to drain the excess, you can. You can just take and rub it on the back. But I don't like doing that because um, if they juicy and you have a little piece open at the bottom, let me show you. Like this. You can see where the hose is. That will bring juice out of your stuff. But because I'm doing it in strawberry crunch, my crunch just covered that whole thing up. Okay? And then I'm going to take... Slide it right off. Can y'all see? Slide it off. Trying to see where y'all can see it, honey. I'm sorry. Y'all can see right there? Just slide it right off my TP. Okay. Same thing here. It's very simple to do. I normally take my um strawberries, line them up. Like if I'm doing best mom ever, I will put them in a row. I will put like four for b-e-s-t then three for m-o-m that way i know which way i'm going with it i try to make sure my top row matches my bottom row so that means if um if the same size berries if i can if you know just try to match it up it's not really rocking science but that's kind of how i do mine try to just make sure i don't have a little baby berry like this in between two big old berries if you know what i'm saying you know um, I use the smaller berries for my strawberry crunch because um, the crunch kind of makes it a little bit bigger. Let me make sure I got my oh, camera's on so I can see when this tow truck man comes. Come on, honey. There we go. Nothing to it. Taking slider right on off. Do another one. Two, four, five, two more, and I'm good to go. <laughs> Corn 
coin. Go tell your granddad to tow truck man out there. And that was how simple. I just did two, four, six. And I always give an itch coin. If they order six, I give them seven. That's my seven berries. But I give them one of the smaller ones. Okay? There go my seven. Now I can get ready. I'm not going to use the same tray for my berries because it got the sparkle on it. I'm going to put my crunch up. Where my top go to it? Probably still in the kitchen. Put my crunch up. Go get my, my um... Melt my chocolate down and I'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all. So, um, I've actually, I had this video planned for y'all before Mother's Day. So, y'all can probably get an idea, honey. But now, I'm actually doing an order. I didn't get a chance to sit down and upload that video. Or even that day that I was doing it, like the beginning of this video, you'll see. I didn't, um finish have time to finish that on camera so with this one as i have used my piping bag to fill the letters all i did was put it in the freezer and you can let it sit in there as long as you do like i wash my berries off and stuff like that well i wash my berries off but i let my berries just kind of um one second y'all sorry about that so i did it as i was doing the berries so as I was taking my berries out, picking the ones I was going to use, I was waiting on my chocolate to dry. And like I said, I already took 12. Thank you, Stephanie. It is actually Mother's Day, y'all. And I'm just now showing you all. I got a couple orders that I just got. So I'm just now showing y'all. But I had good intentions, y'all. I started this video last week, early last week. Um, this is just me finishing it for you all. Cause I did not get to finish that video. So what I do is I get my berries. I told y'all I spray them. Then I put water in it. Wash them off real good. Drain the water. And as you can see now, I'm drying my berries. Once I get done drying my berries, boo, you actually, um, never mind. I use one of these. I take my toothpick, stick it in my strawberries. And you can do all 12 of your strawberries at the same time. Stick all of your toothpicks in there. Um, but me personally, because I don't use this stick, I'm going to do all this, hopefully with this one strawberry pick. The way I do it, y'all, like I said, I take, I stick it in the middle, pull my leaves up, hold on to them. Okay. Oh, this one heavy. I got a full tank. Um, take and dip it into my strawberry. Once I dip it into my strawberry, I just take, keep shaking it. Now, mind, if you use small toothpicks, y'all, as you're shaking, sometimes that strawberry will take and shake and fall right up in that chocolate, and I hate when that happens, okay? Sometimes I take my chocolate, my strawberry, dab the back, dab it a little bit to get that excess chocolate off of it. Just a little dab, and then I take... And I slide my berry up a little bit. That way, any excess chocolate that I have, well, I actually slide mine off the berry. Okay? But y'all don't have to do that. Just go ahead and leave it on the berry. And that way, and then you just put your number right in there. Now, a lot of people do that. It's completely different. Okay? Make sure you're taking the little dead leaf off of it. Sticking it back on my napkin. And I like the napkin that I dried it off with. I try to keep it with me. Because I take and I, um, if I have to wipe my fingers off, I got some chocolate on it for some reason. I can just keep it right there and wipe it off. Or have something else in handy to wipe your nails. Dab it. Okay, I keep mine clean on the back. Sometimes you can do that, y'all. And um, dab, if you rub it too hard, you'll be rubbing the chocolate off of it. And I do feel that. Oh, shoot. And I don't messed up both berries. I'm not finna do that. And and my bad, y'all. And all I'm finna do, take the same old berry, dab it right back in there, shake it back off, honey. Dang it. Messed up my berry right down the side. But no worries. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna um put the best over it. I'll fix it. I might even do another one. But for video purposes, I'm going to go ahead. As you can see, all I got to do is wipe this off. 
okay and i'm gonna stick it right back on top now a lot of people do theirs differently a lot of people might take theirs and um get through waiting on their berries to dry but once i sprinkle um the and i'm not gonna do this on camera but once I get through sprinkling my sprinkles, my sparkle, you can't even tell this ending in that LE is there. Okay? Shake, shake, shake. But a lot of people, what they do, they'll do all their berries, right? And then they will actually wait until they dry. And then once they dry, they'll stick their letters on there. With me, I just like to do it this way. It's quicker and it stays. Okay, like I said, most people don't do it that way. They take do all their berries, and that way you won't have that imprint in the center. Like, um, and as you can see, I'm just sliding it out. The imprint in the center, like this E right here. But like I said, once I get through, and you want it to be perfect, but once I get through and I sprinkle glitter on mine, you never get to see it. But you can always dip all your berries first, then go back and put your letters on there. Just make sure you have like a piping bag to use to uh this one ain't no good a piping bag to use to put some chocolate on the back of here in the piping bag and then stick it on your beard i didn't like going that route y'all i'm sorry i did not go and like like going that route um but this the way i do it do it okay and being that the fact that i'm doing this order um I'm giving these to Kissa's mom. I'm probably not doing it as perfectly as I should be doing it. So I just wanted to give you a little idea of how I dip my berries. Dip them in my chocolate. Shake them off. Shake them off as much as you can. Be perfect, y'all. Take y'all time. Okay? I'm in a rush because she finna come and pick these up. And she on her way to her mama's house. So I said I better go on and get her these dang on berries tonight, honey. Cause I'm not gonna see her early in the morning. There we go. They, she got to drive out of town. But anyway, um, Kissa did good today, y'all. She sold all her baskets. Um, I haven't. I mean, I sold all my baskets too. I haven't stopped making baskets, honey. I'm still making baskets. Okay. This is just going to be an extra one. Oh, another thing I did. I took the chocolate mold. Where did it go? And I squeezed it out. And this gives a cute little chocolate. Let me show it to y'all. Uh-oh. This is not the best video, y'all. I don't even know if I'm going to end up using this. Because I'm kind of in a rush right now. So these aren't the best. I don't know if I'm going to use this. But this is what I mean by the um, block. The chocolate block. That is what that is right there. And you just squeeze your. Put it in the piping bag. Squeeze your mold. And that's it. And I like doing it this way y'all. Unfortunately some people don't do it this way. You know, but this is how I got to do it because it's faster and it's more convenient to me. It's not the perfect way. It's just the easiest way because, like I said, sometimes I used to use that piping bag and put it on there and um, it move around. It don't stick good. So that's just how I do it. Okay, let me see what I got. B-E-S-T-E-V-E-R. Why do I have two R's? I was wondering where my um oh was finna go and there it goes can't even tell boom there it goes now I need to get my sparkles sprinkle it on here put it in my bag and I'll be good to go now what I do do um take some shreds put it in the inside of here And then I pull out all my little mini cupcake holders, stick my strawberries in there, and lay them, lay them down. 
Okay, so next, we're going to take our berries. B, E, and I don't like that E, so I'm going to get the best E I got. Put that second, B, E. S T and kind of center it in your box because guess what your mom is three letters that way it looks you'll see you probably you actually can't see me laying it but I'm about to pick it up so you can see got the M O M the E I already have these taken a loose laying down elsewhere. That way, as I pick them up, I can just put them inside of the, the strawberry inside of it. Now, this chocolate, I'm going to throw it right up in there because it's still so good. I got an extra berry. I'll put it here. And then I took this Happy Mother's Day and I'm going to stick it here. Where's my little clip? Never mind, that worked out good. I had my room last time. Don't Thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be.